Hello at our historic channel Sunrise. I'm welcoming you for updates about historic information. Don't forget to subscribe and promote it with your friends and family. Today we are going to talk about Tutankhamun, the son of Akhenaten, was an ancient Egyptian pharaoh who was the last of his royal family to rule during the end of the 18th dynasty in Egypt. His successor was I. His concern was her full and half-sister, Anaxanamun. She was not her full sister, but her half-sister. Tutankhamun took the throne at 8 or 9 years of age under the unprecedented viziership of his eventual successor, I, to whom he may have been related. He was his grandfather. He married his half-sister, Anaxanamun. During their marriage, they lost two daughters. One at five to six months of pregnancy and the other shortly after birth at full term. His name Sultan Hamun, I thought to mean living image of Amun, was replaced towards from Tutan Hatan, means living image of Tut, Tut and Aten, the Aten the sun god, which was made by Akhenaten. He replaced his name from Tutan Hatan to Tutan Aten. After Akhenaten's death, some Egyptologists believe that translation may be closer to the life of Aten is pleasing or when perfect of life is Aten. Tutankhamun restored the ancient Egyptian religion after its dissolution. An x from 1968 found intercranial bones, fragments prompting the theory that he was murdered with a blow to the head. However, this damage seemed to be the result of the modern unwrapping. In 2013, because part of the chest wall and hips are missing, a theory emerged that the king had died in a carrier accident. But when the body was photographed at the time of Carter's execution in 1927 and 1926, the chest wall was still intact. The damaged chest wall seems to have been inflicted by robbers during the theft of the beaded collar. Also possible, the young king died from natural causes, something he contracted malaria, and he is likely to have had a bone disease or an inherited blood disease. Still a mystery about his death, but it's unexpected death occurred when he was 18 and his burial accessories were mostly of Queen Nefertiti including his famous mask, which was made up of pure gold. His tomb contained valuable treasures, more than 5,400 things made of pure gold and gemstones. Even there is a curse associated attached to his coffin and treasure, which I will tell in my next story. So in his third rational year, Dothan Haman referred several changes made during his father's shrine. He entered the worship of the god Aten and restored the god Amun to supremacy. The ban of the cult of Amun was lifted and traditional privileges was restored to its priesthood. The capital was moved back to Thebes and the city of Akhetaten was abandoned. As part of his restoration, the king initiated building projects in particular at Karnak in Thebes where he laid out the things a venue leading to the Temple of Moon. The Sphinxes were originally made for Akhenaten and Nefertiti. They were giving new ram hats and small statues of the king. At the Xur Temple, he completed the decoration of the entrance colonnade of Amunate III. Moment defaced under Akhenaten were restored and new current images of the god Amun were created. The traditional festivals were now celebrated again, including those related to the Episcopal Horechmate.